Hi, Class 9. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a great Mother's Day with your mom and you made presents or you had a great breakfast or you went for a walk or you just did something nice for mom. Um, so today's read aloud is called The Day the Crayons Came Home. It's the second book after the book I read on Friday that was called The Day the Crayons Quit. Now, this one's really funny where these crayons go everywhere. There are some different colors and some colors that are coming back. So I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Today I will be reading The Day the Crayons Came Home by Drew DeWalt, pictures by Oliver Jeffers. The Day the Crayons Came Home by Drew DeWalt. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coming together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color. Pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. The crayon formerly known as Pea Green. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not, because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny, friends. Yellow and orange. Hey, Duncan. I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan. And it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back your undigestible friend, Tan, or possibly burnt sienna? Crayon. Chris Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey, Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, 
glow in the dark crayon. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France. I think I'm just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon. Neon Red Crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No, I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. I had to write it for him, said Pencil. This is not fun for me either, you know, said Gold Crayon. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, Stucky on head, buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Tell him I said hi. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is, he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what he's drawing. It's R. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist. But I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend. Big chunky toddler crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon Red Crayon. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all of the great coloring jobs, candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you use me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. There's no dogs down there, are there? said Burnt Sienna or Tan Crayon. Nope, no turkeys either, said Beige. Oh, you flatter me. But it's not real chocolate, said Brown. Let's have a party, said White. This one is from my blue period, said my first toddler crayon. But it's not really blue, more lilac, said Pink Crayon. Make sure it's straight, said Purple. 
What are you wearing? said Peach. I'm Ted, said the sock. Oh, I think he goes by Ted, said Turquoise. Looks good, lads, said Gray. Hope there isn't a metal detector, said Sharpner. No, I think everyone is welcome, said Maroon. Ah, there you are. I could use a haircut, said Pencil. I think that door is for us, said Orange Crayon. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. That was the book, The Day the Crayons Came Home, by Drew DeWalt, pictures by Oliver Jeffers. I hope you all enjoyed it.